This is a little video just to help you learn to play the more advanced part for In The Mood. So it's called um, Advanced Part in C. So basically, um, the first section, the A section, is based on three chords. Firstly, G chord, but it's not quite how you expect because the G's at the top, yeah? Your thumb's on a B and your finger two should be on a D. So that's the first position that you need to find in order to play the beginning. In the second line, it's a bit easier because it's just a basic C chord. So it's C, E and G. Okay, they're the notes that you're going to have to find. Then we go back to the G chord in this um, inversion. Then in the third line, you have to play a D chord. Now D chord, your thumb is on D. You've got an F sharp here and an A here for your little finger. So remember that F sharp. Okay, so this section, I'm going to play it a bit slower than it is in the backing track for you, so you can try and follow it. I think a slower pace to start with would be great. You can pick it up when you're confident. So it goes. Second line. Okay, so that section repeats, you'd go back and do it all again. And then going on to section B, you are going to put your hand in this position. You're going to need a C, finger two on E, finger three on G, and your little finger on this B. Okay, so this is the first hand position you're going to need. And you can play quite a lot of this section here, but you do need to move near the end. So it goes like this. Again, I'll play it slower for you. Okay, so I wouldn't really worry about what fingering you're doing at the end. Just do what works for your hand. My little finger ended up on D, but if your little finger's not strong enough, feel free to use a different finger. Whatever works for your hand. And then it's on to section C, which is pretty much the same as um, section A. So here goes. It goes. And it ends on a really high G. I hope I got all that all right because my laptop turned off halfway through and I had to remember everything. Good luck, everyone.